In times of crisis and in movement restrictions, the one thing that we should not stop is moving ourselves. When we speak about movement in a medical or scientific uh, context, we speak about three levels of movement. Level one is fighting depression, is movement for happiness. Uh, in the book, The Joy of Movement by Kelly McGonigal, she explains really nicely that the moment we stop moving and we move less than about 5,600 steps per day, uh, we screw up our own endocrine system and we end up being depressed. So for you, the goal in the times of crisis is keep on moving and look at your wearable. You want to collect more than 5,600 steps per day. Level two is from healthcare to self-care. We use all the mobilization techniques, starting with the black roll exercises where we detone the musculature and we make the fascia more juicy, more happy. And then we start moving the anatomy trains by bending forward, bending backwards, bending sideways, and include rotational movements, starting at the pelvis, going through the thoracic spine and ending up at the neck, at the head. Level three is training. Training is always in the direction of a goal. Goal number one is challenge your cardiovascular system. So at least once a week, you should include a high intensity training or a Tabata protocol in your weekly routines. You have to step out of your comfort zone to challenge your cardiovascular and respiratory system, even more important in times like these. Uh, secondly, when we speak about training, we also want to end up being stronger and healthier after the crisis. So we end up with a good muscle training protocol. And you can start by integrating planks and push-ups and burpees into your everyday routines and your body will be stronger and better and you probably have less back pain uh, than before. Enjoy.